so today i wanted to try out a new product from orc i'm super excited about this so this is samantha ravendahl's makeup brand she hasn't come out with like a new product in a while since really her first launch so she first came out with sort of like a foundation but it's not a foundation it's like a product you put on before you put on foundation or you can mix it with a foundation and then she came out with these um smoke reflect little eyeshadow duos and I actually picked up another shade. I have two of the shades and I couldn't get this one when it first launched because it sold out. But this is the other product. It is these little duos. This is the shade Defiance. And on the bottom is a cream eyeshadow. And then on the top is kind of a topper eyeshadow you put on top. Obviously a topper <laughs> topper eyeshadow so i picked up one of those but today i'm gonna be trying out her new product this is the plush ritual ceramide lip treatment she kills it with her outer packaging and just the regular packaging so this is kind of a tinted lip treatment lip cream oh my gosh this is what it looks like so it has the logo on top and then it is in the same um packaging as her like dual eyeshadows she pretty much said that she wanted to come out with a specific like lip product that's also like a lip treatment you're gonna see a difference in your lips it has ceramides and collagen in it so it has like active ingredients in it that will help kind of plump your lips and provide like nourishment to your lips so it comes with on top it comes with this little jade spatula like how cute it's so tiny and it's like real it's like real jade but like look at how pretty and you use this to like scoop out lip product and put on your lips so that comes in the top and then you unscrew the bottom this is what the lip product looks like it's a really just pinky nude shade and we'll see. I don't know. I don't know how like tinted this is gonna be. I'm not sure. I don't really know how much to pick up. Okay, picked up some. Oh, it smells like frosting. Mm, like a vanilla buttercream frosting. Like cupcakes. It smells really good. Um, okay, so I have some and let's put it on. So there it is. okay it's very plushy it has a slight tint to it like it did lighten my lips a little bit it's pretty pretty sheer though it feels really really nice on the lips honestly like it feels really um comfortable not sticky at all just feels like a nice like lip treatment i have some thoughts also the price of this i think it's like 32 dollars pretty expensive for like a lip balm um but you know you're getting the packaging and she has a smaller brand and the you know the packaging is a plays a big part in the price as well it is really nice and heavy and it has glass and has the jade stone so it's very like customized you know she could have just put this formula into like a generic tube packaging and it probably it would have been you know less expensive but it is not just about the product it's the kind of experience and i'd say her brand is a little bit more on the luxury side as far as the packaging goes and just the overall like feel of her brand is definitely like luxury the one thing i will say it's not like super convenient to use honestly um what's more convenient would be if it was in like a lip balm tube you wouldn't have to like get the jade stone out and then you know um twist it off and it's it's just not super convenient to use um also the jade stone is very small so i mean for people with i have pretty small hands but for people with bigger hands it's honestly probably going to be harder for them to use it's going to be harder for them to grab it out of there and dip it and use it so it's just not i wouldn't say it's super user friendly it's not difficult to use but it's also not super easy if you're like walking with your friends like if you're shopping or something it's not super easy to use i'd say it's more of a product you'd have to like go to the bathroom and put on again if you wanted to put on like more you know 
it's not really something you can just like take out and put on super easy and fast so that is i guess the one sort of downside i see with it not very easy to use but i do appreciate the cool packaging and the, the idea she had behind it like the scooping and putting it on this packaging would be good for like a nighttime lip product and i feel like this would be a, a really nice like nighttime lip balm or like a night treatment if it was like a clear balm but it does have a tint in it so i feel like it is more so if you should be used like during the daytime i mean you can use it at night but since it does have that tint in it, I kind of like want to use it during the day, you know? So maybe if she does make a like clear one, I would definitely like leave this on my nightstand and use it at nighttime because, you know, it's, it's just easier to use. So I could see her coming out with that like in the future maybe and that would be like a nice nighttime lip treatment and to keep it on your bed, you know, like your nightstand and you can use it before you go to sleep because it is pretty thick and I feel like it could let, like, you know, stay on your lips all night but yeah just not super super easy to use but again like i do i like the packaging i think it's gorgeous and it's definitely different from like other sort of lip balms generic packaging or even just like tubs a lot of there's a lot of like tub lip balms but they don't come with like a spatula you know or they come with like a cheap little like crappy spatula you could use so kind of my final thoughts i like it i like the formula itself it's gorgeous i mean i'm still gonna bring this with me probably in my purse it's just something i'm gonna have to, i can't use like on the go you know i can use it when i'm like out or if i'm like going to a friend's house or if i'm like going to the bathroom or something if i'm out and i'm gonna go to the bathroom i can use it but i don't think it's something i would like pull out and just be able to use if i'm like out to eat or something because it's just not super easy and like convenient to use at that point i'd rather just pull out like a like my um aquaphor like lip balm and put it on really quick and just pull out, like throw it back in my purse rather having to like take it out and unscrew it and i could almost see myself the J stone is so small i could kind of see myself like dropping it maybe potentially if i am like on the go so that's kind of the one thing i'm not so keen on is just the packaging as far as convenience goes those are kind of my thoughts on it but i do really like the formula it feels so so nice on the lips so that's what i have to say about that thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye